our weekly segment with Daddy Minion continues tonight as Miko Halili talks about his favorite small ballers. Here is post game with Miko Halili. In case you haven't noticed, the PBA is turning into the land of the giants. And when we say giants, we're not just referring to very tall people in very long shorts. Today's giants are fast and agile. Malaki na nga sila, ang bibilis pa. And it's making me worry. When you have big guys nicknamed the Kraken, you know, or when you have monuments nicknamed Gregzilla, or when 6'9 players suddenly grow wings and dunk with the grace of athletic wingmen, what happens now to average-sized players in the PBA? More urgently, what happens now to the below-average-sized players in the league? You know, all the guys below 5'8", paano na sila? Paano na kami? Paano na kami nila Gino? Is there still room for minions in the PBA? Now, what if you idolize Johnny Abarientos? Johnny at 5'7", scored points and grabbed rebounds like 5'7", meant nothing. Now, should I be worried for the real little guys in the league? You know, little guys like Eman Monfort. Eman is only 5'6". Hindi kaya siya accidentally matapakan ni Greg during practice. Now, should I worry for my guys? Should I worry for the no-height, all-heart, all-stars? And what if Junmar boxes out any of these guys during a game? What if Japet dunks on any of these guys during a fast break? Now, I know it's too early to even discuss this, but for the first time in years, Giants might compete for the MVP award. And if Junmar and Japet continue to play the way they've been playing, they might compete for that MVP award year after year. I know all the sayings, you know, height is might. It's a big man's world because big men can score 100 points. But even if the Giants are taking over, I know deep, deep down, fans will always have a special connection with the little guys. I still remember Alfie Manlulu from the late 80s. He was my favorite player in the old PABL. He was one of the shortest guys in the league, yet I still have his jersey at home. Strangely, the rise of skyscrapers like Junmar and Greg and Japet have a positive effect on the little ones. I know, as big men grow bigger, small point guards become even smaller. Maliit na nga, lalong lumiliit pa. But as Jimmy Alapag has shown, a spitfire can win games and even when Goliaths are around, although Giants are getting to be more gigantic, one thing remains true. The smaller the player, the bigger the impact. Daddy Minion uh, telling everybody the love for the, the, the guys, the small Did you the small feel ballers. that he was talking about you? Of course. Yeah. Well, not about the small ball, but you know, I, I, felt, I, I felt it. I felt that that had a special connection to, you know, the way I feel. It should have a connection with you. I will say this though, Gino loves guards. Yeah. Like, if you ask him about his favorite players, they're all the small guys. Yeah, all of them. But you also... It would be weird if yeah, we loved we, Shaq. The <laughs> <best. laughs> it is just kind of strange. But you know what? You, you do have a... You do have a... And it's, we're going to... It's actually one of my quotes for the for when we close the show. Uh, what you said. You know, people kind of identify with, with the little guy. You know, it's always like the, the Muggsy Bogues, the Spud Webs uh, back in the day. Uh, but obviously, it's still a big man's game though. So when you think about the fans in the, in the fans' perspective, do guys like uh, Wilt, Bill Russell, do they have the same? Do they have the same following as somebody like a Bob Cousy? Well, honestly, I don't think so. I, I'm not being biased just because I'm part of the you know the minion society, <laughs> but I think more people can relate with average or less than average sized players. Um, okay. I'm not saying you know walang fans like Dwight Howard. I don't know, but Shaq, <laughs> Kareem, you know, all those guys. Yeah. But I think more people can relate to what average size people are trying to do on the court. I mean, they have to work harder mm -hmm. because they have no choice. You know, they have, to, they have to show more hustle because they have no choice. They, they can't rely on their size, so they rely on other things like grit, you know, heart, determination. Yeah. And maybe that's why they, they have more charisma with more people. You gave the perfect example in Jimmy Alapag. Right. But I also have to add... Jason Castro. 
FIBA Asia yeah. 2013. Yeah, I mean, all, best all, point guard. All in the Asia. guards. All the, I, yeah. you know, I, I couldn't mention all, all, all the guards because we have big guests coming up. <laughs> their their appearance actually led me to write this. Uh, <laughs> you, you know, there's actually one thing you said also. If if the Kraken boxed out one of the little guys, and I remember there was a there was a time uh, Jai Reyes was a, was a rookie in the PBA. And he had a lane open. He went straight uh, for the for the basket. Who was waiting for him in the post? Doug Kramer, teammate in Ateneo. What did Doug do? Didn't give him the layup. Gave him a welcome to the PBA foul. Oh, biceps don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and Jai fell on the floor. And Doug didn't even look at him. He Bicep was just shot. like, welcome to the PBA.